23 teams entered the Scottish Cup this season. We are down to the final two. It's a day for dreams with a potential for nightmares, a day for heroes and villains. Two managers and 22 players here, all thinking the same, all dreaming the same. Who will go up for the Scottish Cup? Only the great Billy McNeil has won more trophies as Celtic captain than Scott Brown. On the 50th anniversary of the Lisbon Lions' extraordinary triumph, the treble would certainly be a fitting tribute. Celtic have beaten Aberdeen five times already this season, including in the League Cup final here, which was not much of a contest. Will it be the same old story? Or are Derek McInnes and Aberdeen saving their best till last? It is best against second best in Scotland, and for one day, Aberdeen are hoping to reverse those roles. But Celtic were three it up in 11 minutes at Petodri a fortnight ago yesterday. That's what they are capable of. We have had tales of the unexpected in the last three finals. Aberdeen are hoping for another one. Celtic unbeaten in 46 domestic matches this season. One more to go. It's going to be a big ask of Aberdeen, but it is a cup final. You never know, Andy. Well, I listened to Derek McInnes before kick-off, and he was saying to his players that he believes that he can win. And I think the message is don't stop believing, because when you look at the way that Aberdeen played in the last cup final, I think they were so ineffective. The occasion got to them slightly overawed. They can't afford to do that today. And in the last 12 Scottish Cup finals, the team scoring first has won. The first cut has been the deepest. Kenny McLean will rise. Jordan Stockley picked ahead of Adam Rooney, gets involved with Boyata and wins a throw. And he did pose problems for Celtic when they met recently in the league. Johnny Hayes, lovely flip from McLean. And it evaded Aberdeen, although, hang on a moment, here's Sinney. Captain today trying to get his shot away. Considine. And Aberdeen on the front foot immediately. That gives him enormous encouragement to see Hayes get to the byline, get across into the box. Aberdeen looking lively in the early stages, unlike the very recent game at Petordre, where it was all over after 10 minutes or so. Aberdeen had already scored by now, of course, in the semi final here against Hibbs. Kenny McLean. With an effort that dribbles through to Craig Gordon. Kieran Tierney has had another outstanding season. Offside here against Lee Griffiths. Yeah, I think it was tight. It was really lucky. Logan was asked from Johnny Hayes to come and confront him. I think he's onside. It's a difficult one to call, but Lee Griffiths definitely onside there. I think Aberdeen playing a dangerous game with Logan rushing out a position like that. Griffiths was always going to start this one, Moussa Dembele though. Injured his hamstring here in the semi-final a month ago, is on the bench. Armstrong. Handball against Stockley. So David Stockley preferred to Adam Rooney. Callum McGregor ending the season so strongly. But then there's barely been a weak link in this Celtic squad, let alone the starting 11. And they have a strong bench today. Patrick Roberts in what could be his Celtic farewell. He's unlikely to go out quietly. McGregor pops up again, as he tends to do. Armstrong made a dash in the box. Roberts found it, but he just overran it. Yeah, I think the key when Roberts gets on the ball is that it gives a license to the likes of McGregor and Armstrong there just to go beyond the strikers, get into the box, and he does that so well, Stuart Armstrong, not only setting up some goals, but scoring them too. 
Speaking of Rogers, Celtic beat Aberdeen in the League Cup final here. 3-0 in November. Even before the, that ball is kicked from a, the, the, the by kick, Ian, your eyes are drawn to Stockley and Boyata, the wrestling match, trying to gain any sort of positional advantage. Hayes up against Tierney, and that's going to be one of the big battles of the day for sure. Intriguing, to say the least, because they're both rather good. Yeah, Tierney's had a sensational season, developing into an international player as well. Paul Gordon won the Scottish Cup with Hearts 11 years ago. Lee Griffin has lost two finals in this competition with Hibbs, hoping for third time lucky today. Firm header from Taylor, brushes off Stockley. Tony McLean rushing towards Gordon then, and Lustig has to be wary here of McGinn, but he was. I think the conditions will play a part today, but I think for those who have got a really secure first touch, gives, it, gives them instant control, I think the conditions are perfect. Considine was certainly sticking close to Patrick Roberts then. Wise move. We'll need to keep that up. Okay. We'll actually go in Considine's favour against Griffiths. Yeah, no surprise, as you said, Ian, Griffiths preferred to Dembele, although the 32-goal striker is fit again. Griffiths, I think, has been really sharp in recent weeks, notwithstanding that petulant spat that he had with the manager when he was substituted against Patrick Thistle. Celtic's first final for four years, Aberdeen's first for 17 years. Lustig the free kick and he ran into a bit of bother there so he'd been rather relieved at that although Brown was on hand to help out as is often the case <laughs> too quick for Griffiths from Craig Gordon <laughs> firm header from Boyata Ash Taylor He's got to improve Ash Taylor, the use of the ball to stop right. Just get it in and around his chest area, let him control it, let him just take Aberdeen up into the last third. Big afternoon for Scotland. It's the first final between the top two teams in Scotland since Rangers beat Celtic in an epic encounter back in 2002. Griffiths up against Reynolds and getting the better of him. McGregor now. Armstrong brings Tierney into it. Sinclair, decent little run. And the player of the year for many. Sinclair has wriggled past Taylor here and Brian Jack has to put it away for a corner. The burst of pace there from Sinclair is explosive, far too much for Taylor. He faces him up here, there's not a lot of room to go down the outside, but he does. And he's away past him in a flash. Got to get a, a lot closer to Sinclair, just to try and keep him quiet. Lee Griffiths then will send this in, Lustig and Shiminovic and Boyata. Forming not an orderly queue. Griffiths sent it towards Boyata, Taylor cleared, McGregor! Well, no wonder he had a go, because the goals have been flying in for him lately. Yeah, and he's got the skill and the ability, he's got the technique just to take this in his chest, knock it to the side. Not his best effort in terms of getting it on target. But one of those players, one of a number of Celtic players in the middle of the park, who's a real goal threat. Four in his last six games, including against Rangers here in the semi-final. Logan's throw for Stockley. Roberts away, sent back by Taylor. 
Hayes and Stockley linking up. Fiorentini made sure the cross wasn't coming in yet, but it is a corner. Excellent from Hayes and Stockley. Just his sheer size, his presence. Gets Aberdeen into this last third, gets them a corner, allowing everyone to come up. But interest, interesting, Celtic have kept two men up front here. Now again, over the head of Stockley. Aberdeen have taken the lead. Johnny Hayes has sparked the Scottish Cup final. And that has given Celtic something to think about. Look at the starting position of Johnny Hayes here. This is a corner kick that's so well worked. Johnny Hayes is away at the back post. He comes late. Reed Griffiths should be on him, but he's sleeping. You see Griffiths here. Puts his head in his hands. He knows he's let him go. But credit to Hayes. It's difficult to keep control of that shot. On the volley, make sure you hit the target, and he does so. The sheer pace of it, too much for Tierney, can't keep it out. Aberdeen had to get the first goal. It's given them the best possible chance of a memorable afternoon. Well, he's starting to love a goal against Celtic. Scored against them a fortnight ago yesterday, and in Aberdeen's last win over Celtic last season. It's not often Celtic are behind Ian. I know that they normally respond pretty well this season. But this is a cup final. Aberdeen, you can tell, are right up for it. So they've only conceded first four times, and they've won all four. But the last 12 finals won by the team that scored first. And Aberdeen have given themselves a platform at least here. Sinclair, McGregor. Advantage played. Armstrong! And isn't that just typical of Celtic? A rapid response from Stuart Armstrong. And the treble chasers are quickly level. I think Bobby Madden does well here, the referee. I think there might have been a foul there. But he lets play go. You can see him there playing advantage. And this gives Armstrong on the left-hand side, getting the shot away, just one step forward, and then he finds a target. There's a lot of bodies in front of Lewis, but he looks slightly flat-footed. I think it's the accuracy of it and the power that gets Celtic level almost immediately. theme it seems well the perfect response from Celtic going a goal behind certainly wasn't in their script but you see how they cope with being behind first attack they get a shot on target and credit to the referee for playing the advantage there two goals in less than two minutes Celtic one Aberdeen one Damage quickly repaired by Stuart Armstrong's 17th goal of a wonderful season. Chimunovic. And both teams have scored with their first attempt on target. How about that for setting the tone? in the Scottish Cup final. <laughs> Aberdeen have actually won their last three Scottish Cup finals against Celtic.
Shimunovic. Brown. It already has the feeling of a classic final. It will do well to match last year's, but you never know. By the way, it started. It's possible. Lustig. And by Roberts. Taylor could actually release Johnny Hayes here, but just nicked away by Shimunovic. Yeah, vital touch from Shimunovic. But he's got that, the first touch. He was right behind the Celtic back line there. Considine's throw. Kenny McLean. Forced to go back to Mark Reynolds. This one's so far out, Ian, I just wonder whether Aberdeen will be tempted just to go direct, go long, get the ball into the box, see what Stockley can come up with, or just play it short, try and play football. Here's Ryan Jack in his last game for Aberdeen, over towards Shea Logan. Johnny Hayes, confronted by Brown, shrugged him off, saw off Sinclair too! Looking, unable to find Jack. Celtics turn to break away here with Griffiths. Roberts moves ahead. Armstrong has raced through the middle, but Graham Shinney will tidy matters up. What a run Stuart Armstrong made there through the middle. Griffiths didn't see him. Brown for Sinclair. Tinney. It sticks with Lewis. Well, it just shows you how, Cel how uh, dangerous Celtic can be in the break. That was Aberdeen on the attack. The ball falls to the Celtic players and very quickly they turn defence into attack in a matter of seconds. Beata. All over Stockley. And a free kick for Aberdeen. Stupid challenge from Bayata. Comes into the back of Stockley here with both arms. He's drawn attention to himself. I know that that is a physical contest. It's important to be able to win these battles, but not in that fashion. Johnny Hayes over this. Stop him later on there, but Hayes wasn't ready. Hayes with a switch towards Kenny McLean, but that didn't quite work out for Aberdeen, and Scott Sinclair is onto it. Armstrong. Joe Lewis will come out and deal with that. He'll get there ahead of Callum McGregor. Boyata now for Shimunovic. Brown. Roberts into the path of Tedrick Boyata. Brown has Lustig available. McGregor back to Brown. Celtic biding their time here. McGregor has a look at Bobby Madden, the referee, but nothing doing. It's one back anyway by Roberts. McGregor. Roberts, Lustig on the outside. Sinclair made a little run. Ash Taylor screams that. You actually don't want that. Taylor being dragged out of the central area. You want your centre-backs in the heart of the defence just to 
inevitable that Celtic will get some cross balls in. Brown was put under pressure by McLean and Stockley caught now. Devin Madden just having a word with the Celtic captain. Brilliant from Kenny McLean to be so sharp on Scott Brown's first touch and get that vital nick. That was a touch that put him under pressure and Stockley just won the foul for them. Reynolds. Ligging. Considine. That's a lovely ball over the top here for Graham Shinney. This could be another opening. Into the side netting. Well, I don't know why Shimunovic is running out there. Look at Shimunovic's position here. Goes far too far forward, letting Shinney get in behind. And on this surface, the ball's always going to make the angle much tighter. Just try to lash it at the goal there. And Shinney captain Inverness to the 2015 Scottish Cup final. And he repeat the feat with Aberdeen. It's been an engrossing 20 minutes so far at Hampden Park. Taylor dealing with Sinclair. Boyata and Stockley together. It's actually a Celtic throw. Armstrong. Gives Tierney an option. Griffiths. A nudge from Matt Reynolds, but it's an Aberdeen throw. Certainly looked like Phil here. Griffiths just putting his body in the way. That's as clear a foul as we're likely to see. Brendan Rogers and Chris Davis having words with the fourth official. John McKendrick. And Tierney is down meantime. Smack in the face, I think. Yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. Kieran Tierney. Don't want to see anyone injured in a cup final. Just Stockley swinging his body around more than his arm. Making contact with Tierney there. He'll be okay. But what a start we've had to the game here. Absolutely magnificent. Johnny Hayes with the opening goal. Quick response from Celtic with Armstrong. So well worked. Look at Hayes here. And Griffiths just for a second or two, and that's all it takes, Ian. He falls asleep. Hayes makes a difference. And look at that for accuracy and power from Armstrong. Normally you associate his shooting with the right foot, showing just how capable he is on the left-hand side as well. Two of the star performers of the Scottish season on the score sheet already at Hampden Park. Painful this for Kieran Tierney. Missed the League Cup final here in November through injury. I don't know if he's lost a tooth or two there. Yeah, certainly concerned about one or two teeth there. I don't know what the physios will do with that. I don't think there was any real malice in that challenge from Stockley. He's a big physical lad and he's swinging his whole body round. You can see here, just on the left, he's swinging round quickly. I don't think there's any intent there. A lengthy treatment here for Kieran Tierney. Emilio Izaguirre, who would have been the natural replacement if it is necessary, is not among the subs. Christian Gamboa, normally plays at right back, is. Yeah, I think that is a problem. I've obviously knocked a couple of teeth there. I don't know whether he can continue in that vein. Real concern for Brendan Rodgers here, looking for a decision from his... 
physio team. Well, it would be such a big loss to Celtic. Brendan Rodgers having words with Chris Davis and Don Kennedy, his assistants. Yeah, Scott Brown's having words with Derek McInnes. He's, he's telling me he thinks it was a flying elbow. They were certainly... The way he turned his body was really sharp. I don't think you can do anything else with your, with your arms. There was no real force into the face, but there can be a lot of contact. Scott Brown, I think, just looking after one of his teammates. And it looks at the moment like they might have to make a change, Celtic, and that's going to be cruel on Kieran Tierney. He missed the League Cup final through injury. The game has been held up for four minutes. But this does look horrible for Kieran Tierney. We think, well, we know now, it's going to be Tom Rogic who will come on. An early change that Celtic would not have wanted to make. Mind you, this guy is certainly capable of making a telling contribution to the cause. Yeah, it's just how they change it. The style. I know that McGregor has gone to left back before. It would seem maybe one of the natural choices. They've got Gambo on the bench, but bringing on Rogic, obviously we know what he can do from middle to front. But I'm assuming that McGregor will come into a more defensive position. Great pity for Kieran Tierney. It's a shame that such an outstanding season for Kieran Tierney ends like this. Tom Rogic scored in the semi-final against Rangers here last season and missed the decisive penalty kick. And you do have to feel for Kieran Tierney. Game over. Yeah, he, Kieran, Tierney's angry. Finger at Wayne being pointed for Jaden Stockley. Delay of just over five minutes to the Scottish Cup final. We go again. And McGregor has gone back there, Ian. It'll be an interesting one when he's up against Hayes. Scott Brown got to that first. Considine. Ambitious. Kieran Tierney away up the tunnel, a sorry sight for him and for Celtic fans. Henry McLean got in the way of Craig Gordon's clearance then. I think what you're definitely seeing from Aberdeen is a team that are very competitive. Loose balls, they're on it. Physical contest, I think they're more than a match for Celtic in that area. Brown leaving it for Shirinovic, helped on by the Celtic captain, back by Ryan Jack. Up in the air from Considine. McLean. Moved away from danger, but straight onto the head of McGregor. It's looking tasty out there now. Considine quick throw to Johnny Hayes. McGinn chasing, but Lustig secures a throw. Now McGinn facing his former club. And seemingly heading for a new club his time at Aberdeen up. Stick. Stockley. 
Horton beats that one away from McGinn, but Aberdeen will come back for more with Logan. Steered away by Lustig. Shinny was first to it. And Jack! Testing Gordon again. Yeah, that was Shinny onto a loose ball, and Jack having the pop at goal. Decent spell for Aberdeen there. I think it's important here, that touch there. It's a loose ball, Shinny wins it. It falls for Ryan Jack, and it's a really controlled effort. I don't think he wants to try and hold these shots, Craig Gordon, just batting them away to the side. Conditions for the goalkeepers, a bit tricky. Johnny Hayes claiming he was manhandled by Shiminovic, but nothing doing. Well, first half hour, and look at the attempts that Aberdeen have had. Total contrast to the way we saw the game develop at Petordre a few weeks ago. Celtic were out of sight by this time. Rogic. Run into Hayes. It's a corner. Yes, it's been a good half hour for Derek McInnes and Aberdeen. The jacket is coming off. Well, you have to be impressed at the way they are competing, certainly in a physical sense. And again, we saw the their opening goal from a corner. It's Hayes that's taking it this time. I wonder what movement they've got in store here. Everyone around the 18-yard box. Hayes makes the signal. Bobby Madden spots the infringement immediately. Celtic fell behind, quickly levelled, but they've lost Kieran Tierney. Conor McGregor having to fill in at left back. He normally offers them so much going forward, he'll have to do it from that position now. Boyata. Too much on that by some distance. He's asking everyone to calm down. I think it's Boyata that needs to calm down. Lee Griffiths will be spoken to here by Bobby Madden for blocking Joe Lewis's kick there. You just need to allow the goalkeeper. You need to allow him to take it, take it cleanly. No longer he allowed to stand with that in front of the goalkeeper. He's got to be able to clear the ball from hand. It's aimed, unsurprisingly, towards Stockley and Boyata. Shinny. Over towards... Johnny Hayes, and that'll be a free kick. Lustig the offender, Lustig unimpressed and unhappy. Yeah, Lustig sold himself, he went in far too quickly. Easy decision there for Hayes to knock it past him, try and go round him. Just came in at far too much pace. Hayes and McGinn over the free kick. Taylor, Considine, Stockley, McLean all there. All useful in the air. McGinn takes. Taylor looked for a moment like he might just get to that until Jozo Shimunovic into the... Yeah, Shimunovic is on the lunch here, isn't he? Does really well just to get his head on this. I thought it was going to fall to Ash Taylor as well, but Shimunovic was alert to it. Celtic keeping two men up here, forcing Aberdeen to have three back. But he scored from the last one on this side. Some big boys to aim for. Now McGinn takes. Stockley's there. And Gordon has to make the save. And he's had to make a few. Griffiths trying to break out here. He's been brought back for a free kick, but Celtic would have quite liked to have continued. Well, Derek McInnes is clearly identified. If Celtic do have a weakness, it's in the heart of the defence. 
If the ball is good, if there's a bit of quality on it, like that one, Stockley can get on the end of it. Armstrong, McGregor. Shimunovic. Boyata. Lustig. And almost came through to Sinclair from a flick by Shimunovic. Sinclair's been really quiet, hasn't he? We just saw that explosive burst of pace down at the, the byline at the corner flag. But so far, Sinclair and Roberts, the two potential match winners that everyone was pointing to before the game, been really quiet on the ball. Shabunovic. For Boyata, who won the FA Cup in his time at Manchester City, although he was an unused sub then, rather more involved today. McLean. McGinn, helped on by Stockley for Jack, and the flag stays down. Logan trying to sneak past Boyata here, and he has done. Rogic on hand to clear, but not very far. Kenny McLean went for the curler without much curl attached. Yeah, all the Celtic fans think he was offside there, but he was definitely on. Good layoff from Stockley. And Aberdeen looking lively. Normally, Celtic start at a pace that most times the opposition can't live with. I think Aberdeen have certainly matched them this afternoon. Pressing them high here, Celtic finding it difficult to play out from the back. It's going long again from Gordon. Oh, Griffiths could be on his way here, never quite had it under control, and that allowed Ash Taylor to move in. Well, ten minutes to go to the half-time. In the last ten minutes, seeing Aberdeen utterly dominant. From middle to front, just shows you how well they are competing this afternoon on the big occasion. It's Aberdeen's half so far. But Celtic could easily turn the tide. McGregor. Armstrong for Sinclair. Not to really get into the game, but he will get a free kick for that challenge by Taylor. <laughs> Roberts, Armstrong. Now Rogic. Lustig. Shurinovic eases himself away from Stockley. After the rain of earlier, the sun is back out in Hamden. Rogic down the line for Lustig. Got a few better from middle to front than Rogic, the way he receives the ball on the half turn and putting Celtic onto the attack there. Charlie Hayes was on defensive duty. A corner. Considine sticking close to Roberts. Well, unlike Celtic, Aberdeen bring everyone back for corners. A few battles there with Boyata and Shimunovic now. The Griffiths. To take this for Celtic, McLean was the man who met it. Armstrong didn't catch it quite right that time. Yeah, McLean met it, but he's still down in the six-yard box. Took a bit of a hit. You can see him here.
It's a really good lead, he clears it, but Bayatha just makes contact with him. The shot from Armstrong, well wide. Thankfully he's okay. Remaining playoff finals this weekend. Blackpool against Exeter from 2.30, Sky Sports 1 tomorrow. And then Huddersfield against Reading in the Championship playoff final for a place in the Premier League, Monday from 2 on Sky Sports 1. Free kick here for McLean. Or is it the other way? It's the other way. Well, there will be a hefty amount of stoppage time at the end of this first half after Kieran Tierney's lengthy treatment, and he had to go off. Yeah, down for a good five minutes, Kieran Tierney. Shimonovic. Boyata. Armstrong onto it. So much energy. Callum McGregor is about to arrive on the scene. Brown. Roosted on the stretch to help it on to Roberts. He's managed to get a throw. Not quite as crisp and sharp in the passing yet, Celtic. Boyata. Shiminovic. Sinclair. Reynolds close to him. Way out of. Shimunovic. Moreto furious that there was nowhere to go. Sinclair. Roberts in a more central position at the moment. Rogic out wide. He's on one of these runs that he likes. Griffiths has got Armstrong in the middle, but Joe uh, Lewis smothers. Yeah, I think it was the right idea from Griffiths. I think he spotted again Armstrong. Look at him in the central area, trying to get just behind Shea Logan there. Couldn't quite find the angle to get it beyond him. Just a throw for the Celtic. Derek McInnes absolutely furious. Certainly look like a fool to me. Brown coming in, barging him. So many physical challenges all over the park this afternoon. Some room to manoeuvre here for the Celtic captain. Looking for Griffiths, but he was marshalled by Taylor. Surprised he didn't choose to go wide there, Scott Brown. His game is just to get the, the flair players, Roberts and Sinclair, get them involved. Hayes looking to sneak in here, but Boyata got the vital touch. Shinny, Stockley, Shininovic for McGregor. Even Stockley there with Scott Brown, knocking him to the ground. It's a foul by Simeon Armstrong. Simeonovic. Lustig. Roberts. Shavinovic. Boyata. Armstrong. Moving away from Shinny. 
Griffiths came in with a fair force. It's a free kick for Armstrong, fouled by Schilly. In a really good position for Southern. Yeah, Armstrong was first, there was a loose ball there. You can see there the other left foot of Shinny. Causing the foul from Armstrong. It's a really promising one for Celtic, a very central area. They've got a number of options. Players who want to have a direct topic goal here. Armstrong, we know how capable he is. Lee Griffiths as well. Lee Griffiths. Four goals in his last five games. Coming in for the injured Moussa Dembele. And he is sizing this one up. Here he comes, Lee Griffiths! It fizzes away from its intended target. Struck it really well, didn't he? Dead ball. Catches it so sweetly. Just a bit too much. But Griffiths showing there how dangerous he can be from set pieces. Beautiful angle there to watch that shot at goal. Close, but not close enough. It's not often you see Lee Griffiths go this long without having a pop at goal from open play. So Lewis his own ball boy there. Lee Griffiths hasn't been first pick for much of the season, but he's still managed to score 18 goals. Such is his way. It's an interesting point you make, Ian. I don't know why we don't do the multiple ball system. We see it everywhere else. We are into five minutes of first-half stoppage time after Kieran Tierney's injury. Logan's throw. Tony Hayes was there, a hint of handball there. Nothing too intentional. McLean, and he's got the corner off McGregor. And Aberdeen in what's been an impressive first half of them on a high. No rush to take it, but McGinn coming over now. Johnny Hayes, that usual position just outside the box. Lee Griffiths will be aware now of his movement. Well, this will be some time to score. First half stoppage time from the corner where the hips scored. A winner last season, but Kenny McLean's header always going away from goal. I think it's a decent chance. He gets away from Scott Brown, he gets a good leap on it. Not quite high enough to get it downwards and guide it towards the target. This is what Aberdeen are doing well. They've three men just outside the box, not allowing Celtic to play it out, forcing Mc, uh, Craig Gordon to go long. And they're winning plenty of these loose balls. Considine will take this throw, his first Scottish Cup final after losing four, yes, four semi-finals. Brown. Reynolds back. Hit Brown again. Sinclair. Ryan Jack staying calm. Considine with a brilliant ball down the line for Hayes. Stockley and McGinn in the middle, it might come to Stockley, and Boyata had to stick with him and did, it's a corner again for Aberdeen. What a ball forward that was from Considine. Right down the line, there's not a lot of room there, Lustig wasn't in a bad position. Stockley almost getting on the end of it, and I think Boyata did well to make sure he got the block in. Johnny Hayes to take this, Aberdeen asking questions again. Hayes floating it in, Considine made contact. Will it fall favourably here for Taylor, not with Boyata around. Away by Reynolds, but Griffiths with a deft and dainty touch. Now McGregor, and Celtic finish with a flourish in this first half. Rogic for Roberts. Happy to take them all on, but Johnny Hayes can bring it away. Ian, that's first half injury time, and it's the first time we've seen Roberts do something a bit creative, a bit inventive, causing Aberdeen 
one or two problems, but I think it highlights how well Aberdeen have defended the threat that he possesses. McGregor. Griffiths. Taylor was all over him initially, and that's why the free kick has been given. Still time for another goal in this first half. I think it's a bit too far out for a direct topper goal. That's why you'll see the likes of Boyata, Simunovic get up there in the box. He's not thinking about it, is he? Boyata hopes not. Griffiths does float it towards Boyata. Brown. I think I've got Aberdeen where they want them at the moment in the final minute of first half stoppage time. McGregor. Armstrong. Shaminovic up again to Logan. His clearance only goes to McGregor. Anxious end of the half for Aberdeen. Good cross from Griffiths. Sinclair coming in. Big surprise he didn't find the target, Ian. Brilliant ball from Lee Griffiths. Doesn't delay here, just get it in the danger area. He's flat-footed Taylor. And the only surprise is that getting such a good contact, Scott Sinclair, he doesn't manage to keep it down. Well, it's almost a shame we have two pulls for breath. Aberdeen scored first through Johnny Hayes, but their lead lasted less than two minutes. Stuart Armstrong with a fine equaliser. This Scottish Cup final between the top two teams in the country is certainly living up to the billing. Half time at Hamden, Celtic 1, Aberdeen 1. I think it's all to play for. It's Aberdeen who start the second half, and they must be believing this could yet be their day, having lost every previous game against Celtic this season. They've certainly got a grip on this game, but it is all square. 1-1. What next? Here is McGinn. Brown on hand to clear. Tom Rogic, who came on for the injured Tierney, looking to speed away here. Armstrong. Hasn't got much wrong this season, but that one's 
one that got away. And Tierney has been taken to hospital. Sinclair, Brown, cute back heel to Armstrong. Shimunovic. Straight to Shinny. Shinny. Shimunovic made amends for a moment of carelessness. Good defending there from Shimunovic. Jack. And by McLean, away by Lustig. Griffiths showing interest here. But Ash Taylor across him. And to Iron for McGinn. Shinny for Stockley. For McLean. Nobody fans on their feet. Johnny Hazer got himself into the box, but McLean unable to pick him out. Yeah, I think the flag might have went up. Luke Pizzoli might have been in an offside position, but this is really good one-touch stuff once the ball goes wide. Ideally, you want Stockley in there. You can see he goes early. I think he was offside there, but good start to the second half from Aberdeen. Armstrong allowed to make substantial progress. Roberts. Quiet mostly by Considine. Yeah, it's been a really good contest, and you have to say so far, Considine on top. Patrick Roberts has been really quiet. Rogic already on as a sub. Brendan Rogers could also call on Musa Dembele and James Forrest. Bun again on Lustig. A rather cheap free kick given away by Aberdeen. Lee Griffiths coming over to take it. You know the power and the accuracy, the movement on the ball that he gets from set piece deliveries. Lee Griffiths. Sends one in, but it's going to elude everyone. It looked as though Simunovic coming in at the back post might have got onto it. Really good ball right into the heart of that danger area. Celtic aiming for only the fourth treble in their history. Jock Steen achieved it in 1967 and 69. Martin O'Neill in his first season, 2001. And Rogers hoping to follow suit in his first season in charge. Dedrick Boyata for Jozo Shimunovic. Brown put under pressure. McLean takes over. McGinn. Away by Boyata. Tony Hayes back on his feet. Lee Griffiths racing away here. Rogic and Sinclair in the middle. Griffiths, it's deflected just wide. Brilliant ball from Sinclair. This is Aberdeen on the attack. Look how quickly they can hit on the break. As soon as Griffiths picks this ball up, only one thought in his mind. How do I get a shot away? And that touch there from Ash Taylor, I think, is vital. Without it, may well have ended up in the back of the net. Goals for concern for Aberdeen now. A Celtic corner. It's Griffiths to send it in. Boyata fancying a bit of that. Taylor there as well. Joe Lewis remains composed. Jimmy here for Jack. Scott Brown was tracking his every move. Great effort from Jack to get forward there. Scott Brown more than a match for him. And as you can see there, Brown didn't actually get a touch. That's a clear call from that far side assistant.
Logan didn't look the favourite there, but hung in there. Jack. Oh, it nearly found a way. All the way. Considine was coming in at the far post. Stockley at the front, Considine at the back. Far too much room for Considine, it has to be said. Really good ball. Craig Gordon can't come and deal with it. No one actually gets a touch on it. And it's a gamble there from Shibunovic. He actually let it go. Benny McLean. Probing there. on the domestic front this season. Celtic knew they would be in for a game today. Even though they've lost it against Aberdeen this season, it's different, it's a cup final. And Aberdeen have been so up for this, but here's Tom Rogic. Lovely ball through, Sinclair! Brilliant block from Lewis. Celtic at their best, superb from Rogic. The timing of the run from Sinclair is absolutely fantastic. Look at Sinclair on the far side. He knows he's capable of such a delivery, Rogic. And it's just the fact that it's such a narrow angle. Joe Lewis does well just to spread himself. He's got the added insurance of Reynolds behind him. Griffiths to take this. Shaminovic near post, but away by McLean. Brown making McGregor work for that. Johnny Hayes. Moved in on McGregor, what a chance here! McLean waiting for a cross! Oh, Kenny McLean unable to steer it goalwards! One that got away big time for Aberdeen! Could be a game-changing moment. Slack from McGregor, I think Hayes does all he can. Just sit there, don't go in too far. McLean too keen to get in front, and he loses the opportunity. What a chance for Aberdeen! Well, that proved to be a pivotal moment. Celtic's turn to have a go now. Rogic. And it's a free kick right on the edge of the area for Rogic. The one thing they've done well, Aberdeen, is refuse to get involved in these late lunges. Clear foul there from Logan. But look at this chance. McGregor slack. Hayes, you know what he's going to do. He's always going to square it. I think it's a perfect ball, but McLean is in just a yard too early. Agonising for those Aberdeen fans. And Lee Griffiths will most, fancy, most definitely fancy a go from here. Armstrong there too, and he likes a free kick. Could be him. It is Griffiths, and the deflection had everybody watching where it might end up. Exactly, could go anywhere. Hayes hits the inside of his leg, I think. He's on the edge of that box. Good spell for Celtic. Griffiths takes, McLean clears. Armstrong for Brown. McGregor, brilliant ball for Griffiths, it's set. Oh, he did sneak it past Logan, but only to this. Took a chance here, Logan. There was a bit of pace in the ball, but Griffiths did really well to keep it alive, keep it in play. Ten minutes into the second half, it's been an enormous effort so far from Derek McInnes and his team. You just can't take your eyes off Celtic. Brown away, but only to Considine. Aberdeen hoping to hit the front again. Ryan Jack towards Stockley, just out of his reach. Yeah, Jack did well, just in a tight area, just to get that ball into the box for Stockley. wonder if Brendan Rodgers might look to his bench soon. And Roberts is so quiet. 
And you've got someone there like James Forrest, plenty of pace. He's contributed a lot this season, as so many of the Celtic players have. Yeah, Forrest was outstanding in the League Cup final win here against the same opponents. The Dean finished 30 points behind Celtic in the league, but you can plug those kind of gaps in a one-off occasion like the Scottish Cup final. Forrest and Bindeli out for a warm-up with near beat on. Boyata. Shimunovic. Armstrong. Happy to take them on. Rogic. Clever control here by Rogic. Couldn't find a way past Continine, though. It's a lovely little turn from McLean, who wanted a free kick. It matters not because Stockley finds McGinn. Good referee. He was going to blow, but. Aberdeen in possession, he's let them have it. Just as he did with Celtic's equaliser. He's for Logan. Hayes and Brown on a collision course, both giving their absolute all. Now Roberts. It'll be brought back here for a Celtic free kick. Yeah, it wasn't that one there, I think it was the one earlier. Credit to Bobby Madden, he is trying to play the advantage rule. But he got that right there. So another great physical challenge with Brown and Johnny Hayes. Great contest, this. McGregor, Sinclair. Armstrong takes over. McGregor, Roberts, on his way! Wide from Patrick Roberts, desperate to make an impact here. Ash Taylor's lucky, he tries to read it, and he goes too far forward. Really good play from Roberts, who came to life there, just let it run through him. Taylor had committed himself, but poor attempt to go from Roberts, very unlike him. 11 goals, 13 assists. Heading back to Manchester City, his future uncertain. Celtic would dearly love to see him in hoops again. Piata about to have Kenny McLean upon him. Some touch from Sinclair. Quality. It's a proper contest as we head towards the hour mark of the Scottish Cup final. Shiminovic. Roberts. Not even he is getting to that. He's unlucky, but you can see the frustration in Roberts. He's not getting decent service. He's not getting the chance to face up to his immediate opponent and take him on. Credit to Aberdeen for keeping him quiet. Adam Rooney is about to join us on the hour mark. Scored 12 seconds into the semi-final here. Scored against Celtic in their first meeting between the sides this season. Can he do it in the last? Joe Lewis apologises for that. And you have to say it's very proactive from Derek McInnes. Unlike the League Cup final where his team were so poor on the day, competed well. He's trying to win it here. He might get the first yellow card of the final here for Ash Taylor. Yeah, pretty cynical. He'll accept that yellow card without any question there, Taylor. Adam Rooney is about to replace Jaden Stockley. 
Armstrong. Sinclair. Taking the long way around. Roberts. Sinclair. Taken off his toes by Contadine. Boyata. Rooney's arrival is imminent. Rogic. McGinn had to stop that from reaching Lustig, but it still did eventually from Rogic. Shinny. Called by Lustig. And now that change can happen. Jaden Stockley preferred to Adam Rooney today, but he's coming on. To allow Rooney on 20 goals this season, the first Aberdeen player to hit the 20 mark in three successive seasons since Joe Harper back in the 70s. Well, he would have been gutted not to have started the game, but he's got enough time out there to make his presence felt, Adam Rooney. Yeah, I think it's a positive change. He's more of a goal threat. He might not have the physique and the aerial ability that that record you highlighted of the consistency that he's shown over the last number of seasons, scoring goals for Aberdeen. He's done it before against Celtic. Held up by Taylor. Brown onto it. Sinclair. Sinclair just showing signs of coming into this game to great effect, Armstrong up against Logan, goes past him, Lewis has to beat that away, but it comes to McLean, and he can't release him again. Too easy, Armstrong getting away from Logan there, poor defending. Sinclair. Roberts. Shiminovich. Rustic for Roberts. Moving away from Reynolds. Roberts looking for the opening! Off the outside of the post. He, he was diverted, actually. He could have touched the keeper. That's brilliant from Patrick Roberts. We haven't seen anything like this so far. Past the hour mark. Did he get a touch there, Lewis? Referee's given a corner, but Roberts came to life there. Celtic hungry now. Griffiths to float it in. Lewis couldn't hold it. And it's wide by Lustig. Yeah, I think he's taking a bit of an injury here, Joe Lewis. But just look how close this is from Lustig, swinging it through the legs there of McLean. Takes a bit of a knock there, Lewis. Just getting the palm of his hand onto that. Almost going in at the front post. And Roberts, look how close he was. Does Lewis get a touch here? He does! Fingertips! What a wonderful effort. And all of a sudden, we saw the best of Patrick Roberts there. A terrific save from Joe Lewis. Wasn't easy to see in uh, real time, although the referee spotted it. And Patrick Roberts, who has been fairly quiet, nearly became a big noise then. From the Scottish Cup final to the Spanish version, the Copa del Rey final, Barcelona against Alaves is on Sky Sports 2 tonight from 8.20. Drinks break for the rest as Joe Lewis receives treatment here in what has been an engrossing Scottish Cup final. Enthralling. Yeah, I don't know where the destiny lies. Is it Aberdeen's trophy against all odds? Is it Celtic's 
50 year anniversary, the Lisbon Lions will they secure a treble? Fabulous contest we've had this afternoon. Joe Lewis is back in business, having made a superb save to prevent a Roberts goal. Blocked off by Brown, the two captains. There's been so, so much of this physical contest, it's a fair no more. Aberdeen fans calling for a yellow card. Celtic and Aberdeen still locked together at 1-1. Aberdeen's turn to have a go at changing that now. Logan to send this towards Kotzenayn, who left so well. McGregor has time to clear, though. Ash Taylor has stayed down in the box here. They might want to get up now. Hayes. Taylor gradually getting back to his feet. Hayes with another go. No, it's still doing nice, Taylor. Struggling to get back here. I think he's going to make it. There's a half chance there for Johnny Hayes. A loose ball. Having a pop it goal. The heavens have opened again above Hamden Park. I don't know, it's merely adding to the occasion. The second half attempt has shows you that Celt how dominant Celtic have been coming to life again in the 67th minute to honour the best team you've ever seen at that club. Sinclair, well, a goal now would be fitting. Sinclair having to take the long way around, and Griffiths is well target. Well, he'll blame him. A bobble on the pitch, I'm sure. But Sinclair, who's been just as quiet this afternoon, coming to life, taking so many on, drawing so many players towards him. That's a really good chance for someone of Lee Griffith's quality to at least work the goalkeeper. McLean, Hayes. Sininovic has gone across, and that looks like a foul from Sininovic. Stupid foul from Shimunovic. Hayes is going nowhere. He gets the touch there, and Shimunovic tries to come through him. Poor defending, just allows this set play to be delivered into the box. Hayes and McGinn over it. Again, McLean with a little touch. And this was the last touch. Goal kick. I think it's a good run from McLean. You, you want to see if you're the attacking team, someone get across that front post area. Just trying to guide it towards the target or help it into that six yard box. Helped on by Lustig. And Tom Rockets might just get to this. Roberts now, Griffiths and Sinclair waiting for a cross. Put it header away from Ash Taylor because that wasn't easy. Dead right, Ian. Brilliant defending from Taylor. Look at him here. As soon as Roberts goes past him, it's a 2v1 at the back post. And Taylor does well to read the cross. Brendan Rodgers certainly knew how close that was. Aberdeen's first half, Celtics second half. Griffiths. To whip it in, and Dedrick Boyata, well, we've seen him score so many of those lately. He got so much power, he forgot to get the direction. He's on the move, and he tries to absolutely put everything into this header. Such a big target there. Keep it down, and it's a goal. Brendan Rodgers realises it, and so does Boyata. What a chance. Well, he 
scored in his last two games against Aberdeen and he should have continued in that vein. Aberdeen are going to make another change shortly, which will see the arrival of Anthony O'Connor. I think it might be Noel McGinn to make way. Here's Tom Rogic. Armstrong survived McLean's attention. McGregor now for Sinclair. Celtic pushing and probing here. Screened by Ryan Jack. And now Rooney. Hayes heading through the middle. Rooney sent it the wrong way. Celtic have certainly got the upper hand. I think they're a bit more controlled now. Aberdeen about to make another change. It's a good challenge from McGregor, but it's his mistake. His positioning there is all wrong. He goes forward. He's got to just let him play it wide. Don't let him in behind. And it's thanks to the poor touch of Rooney there that allows McGregor to get the block in. They have their first corner of the second half. Niall McGinn will take it, former Celtic player. Begins corner. Didn't reach Rooney. Ustick made sure of that. Here's Shimmy. And Craig Gordon is caught in the action to push that away and have plenty of power. Caught it well, kept it controlled. A lot of power in this shot, but controlled power. Almost Stuart Armstrong late into that far corner, but Gordon was alive and alert to it. McGinn tries again. Hayes trying to keep it alive here. He's bobbled away to Roberts. Griffiths determined. Hayes got in the way though, and now a free kick for Shinny, fouled by Roberts. Well, I think everyone will just take a breather now with the corner coming on for Aberdeen. Farewell for now and again, except to leave the club. Certainly given them plenty over the years. Be replaced by Anthony Connor. Or Connor. Easily defended, although has been used in a midfield role of late. Just over a quarter of an hour to go of the 90 minutes anyway. There might be more. Well, may well be aimed in Ash Taylor's direction by Johnny Hayes. In fact, it's an easy take for Craig Gordon just when Aberdeen needed a decent delivery. Will O'Connor's just gone to the middle of the park. I'm sure he always seems to find some space. I think his job is to keep this man quiet, Rogic. The way he receives the ball in that sort of number 10 area, Ian, I think it's so crucial. Can be a number of players, Armstrong, Rogic, Robert Sinclair. I think Rogic is the one that O'Connor will stick to. Tidy from Brown. Armstrong now for Rogic, and O'Connor is upon him. Rogic needed support, and there wasn't much forthcoming. coming. 
O'Connor. Comes a dime for Hayes. Hayes goes away from Roberts. Gordon had to pluck that one out of the air. Yeah, he didn't get the angle he was looking for, Hayes. This is dangerous with Sinclair. Held up by Taylor. He had to be so alert there. Taylor, Sinclair up against them. Griffiths. Joe Lewis makes the save, but Sinclair's coming in on this. Now Rogic. Armstrong. Roberts. Griffiths again. Always oh, going wide. Joe Lewis has kept Aberdeen in it. Griffiths here always going to find a yard of space. He puts it on his right side, but he's kept it low. I think it makes it more difficult for Lewis, such a tall man, to get down so quickly and get that away with a strong right hand. This is first-class goalkeeping. He has made some highly significant saves. Lusa Dembele warming up after a month out with the hamstring injury sustained here in the semi-final. 32 goals for Celtic. Will he have a say yet? What Celtic are doing in this half is they're having attempts at goal. They look really strong. Aberdeen fleeting chances, the best of them, of course. That pass from Hayes to McLean. Siminovic. Boyata. Well, they went to penalties when they these two met in that epic 1990 final. Aberdeen won the shootout 9-8. Well, they won't like they'd quite like to get the job done inside the 90. Sinclair. Armstrong. Roberts. Boyata. Blue stick. Brown. McGregor. Roberts trying to thread it through. Just the sheer weight of numbers that Aberdeen have back in defence here, denying Celtic the space there. Shimunovic, Rogic. Office. Nipped in. Sinclair! Lewis makes another save, although Sinclair didn't quite connect. What a chance. You expect, as soon as you saw it in the air, you expected a goal because Sinclair it was at the back post. Lewis again, keeping his team alive. He's been a towering presence in more ways than one Joe Lewis in this second half. With six foot six inches of him. He's had the save from Roberts that he touched onto the post. He's had a save from Griffiths, and that one there from Sinclair. <laughs> Celtic are strong in. They're putting Aberdeen under a lot of pressure. McGregor. Managed to deliver. Away by Jack for Rooney. No foul on Shinny. Armstrong won it back. Griffiths now for Lustig. Roberts brilliantly blocked. But here's Tom Rogic. Blocked by Logan. Aberdeen on the rack here. And maybe not. Maybe a breakout here for Aberdeen, not like that, though. Oh, he's chosen the wrong option there. Had to be a, di a diagonal into Rooney. 
into the last 10 minutes and Celtic are putting the pressure on big time. Roberts, Sinclair, nipped in ahead of Taylor. Brown. It's Griffiths, and he's drilled it wide. No surprises in a pocket goal. How often do you see Griffiths have a shot, goes through the defender's legs, as it does with Considine here? But look at Scott Sinclair's chance here. The ball to the back post is absolutely perfect. He just sort of rolls his studs on it. Doesn't get the side of the foot, gets it under his foot. It makes it an easier save for Lewis, who, to his credit, made himself as big as possible. Griffiths. Johnny Hayes has been talking to the Aberdeen bench and may have an injury issue here, which would be a blow for Aberdeen. Very not happy with Jack Shaminovic. Well, they're dominating in terms of efforts at goal here, Celtic, in the second half. But no joy as yet. McGregor has found a way through. Roberts! Aberdeen getting bodies in the way when it counts at the moment. Yeah, I think it's O'Connor this time. Just getting the block in, throwing his body into the way of these shots at goal. Keeping a close eye on things. The corner from Griffiths, wicked. Back by Armstrong, Boyata charging up with Taylor. This Hayes. Armstrong has been excellent, moved in to win it back. And a free kick for Celtic. Yeah, Hayes is struggling to move. I think there's got to be a change from Aberdeen really, really soon. He got the ball there, he was in acres of space, but he couldn't get rid of it. There's no sharpness in his legs, there's no energy. It's Griffiths then to take this, Lustig arriving! What a chance that was as well. Shimunovic for Armstrong. No way out for Aberdeen. Armstrong. McGregor. Well, the Lustig chance is as good as the one from Boyata. He somehow manages to head it behind him. His eyes are focused on it. He must think that Reynolds is getting a touch because it comes to the side of his head. Brendan Rodgers thinks that's another glorious chance. And yet again, it passes them by. Johnny Hayes clearly toiling. Uh, young Scott Wright, who scored a hat-trick at Parik Thistle last week, might be coming on. Reynolds. Rooney. Up against McGregor. Armstrong on defensive watch. Sinclair for Rogic. Final five minutes plus stoppage time. There's extra time possibly if it stays this way. Well, he came alive there, Johnny Hayes, getting back to challenge Rogic. But when you look at how strong Celtic have been, the second, the last ten minutes, I mean, it's utterly dominant, so many attempts at goal. The one from Bayata is a big chance. Roberts was unlucky, Griffiths was unlucky. It was a great save from Lewis. But Celtic definitely the stronger of the two sides.
Boyata. Nothing doing with that pass. Ash Taylor across. It was always heading out for a throw. Or was it? Not quite, actually. Kept in by who else but Armstrong? Boyata. Roberts. I think the fact that Roberts is still on tells you that Brendan Rodgers trusts him to come up with something special. He almost did 20 minutes ago. Second chance here for Roberts. Roberts. Trying to slide McGregor in. Kenny McLean saw that coming. Defending so well, Ian Aberdeen, but they can't get out. This is wave after wave of Celtic attacks. Simunovic. Rogic now. McGregor, Armstrong, flag stays down against Griffiths, Reynolds has to go across and try and deal with him here, and Ryan Jack is able to scoop it away. Reynolds is lucky, I can't believe he's trying to play offside there, he's got to go with Griffiths, he's playing on the shoulder of the last defender, and he's lucky to get away with that. Sinclair. Roberts, Jack in and about. Somehow wriggle clear. Might get a shot away here. And the team blocking everything. Can they simply have to to keep their Scottish Cup dreams alive? Celtic coming back for more. Armstrong's cross here. Taylor away. McGregor. Brown. Lustig. Considine there with him. Tony Hayes carrying on for now, but he's lost it. Rogic, Roberts, Sinclair! Goal kick. Sinclair in top form, at least watch the goalkeeper. But Hayes has got a bit of energy left, but he gives the ball away. And despite that being such a tight angle, you just expect so much more from Scott Sinclair. Well, if Aberdeen were the better side in the first half, Celtic have been very Celtic-like in the second half. But extra time is beckoning at Hampden Park unless somebody wants to step forward. I think there'll be three added minutes. The only chance of note that Aberdeen have had that unbelievable chance for McLean that Hayes set him up with on the right side after the mistake from McGregor. Could be a game-changing moment. The 90 minutes almost up. Gordon up towards Griffiths, a rather direct route here, but it will find him. He can get to this in time, and he can. He's into corner to add to the drama and the tension. Still got so much energy, Lee Griffiths, despite that look. Of sheer ex exhaustion there. Wow, are we going to get a goal now in injury time? Well, we had a cup final winner from a corner last year. It's Lee Griffiths to take this one, and they swirled out actually, swirled out for a goal kick. Well, he's been one of the main Aberdeen players that have kept his team in it. The saves from Roberts, touching it onto the post. Maybe even more impressive, the save from Griffiths, where he got down so quickly. Well, Aberdeen have had to hang on in this second half, but they are a couple of minutes away from taking the Scottish Cup final further to another half hour. And who knows what that might bring. 
Well, certainly I've got two changes left to make. Aberdeen just the one. Will it be the fresh legs that make the difference? Taylor wins that. Rogic moves away from O'Connor. A little opening here for Tom Rogic. Celtic have done it. They always seem to do it. And trust them to surely have the last word this season. They're closing in on the Scottish Cup. They're closing in on the treble. Well, for the first time almost, Rogic gets away from O'Connor. But not for the first time does he come up with something special for Celtic. He did it earlier this season in the League Cup final. He's done it again in a bigger game. There's no space there. But Rogic finds it. He's got the legs, he's got the drive, he's got the strength. Puts on to his right foot. And from a tight angle, he surely gets the winner for Celtic. This secures the treble. What a moment for him. The pressure paid off, and the pressure was immense. And Brendan Rodgers is almost there now. It's the Wizard of Oz, Tom Rogic, who looks to have won the cup and the treble for Celtic. Who are now taking off Patrick Roberts for Eric Sviatchenko. Good things come to those who wait, and Celtic had to wait until stoppage time. Hibbs did it last year, Celtic may well have done it this year. Well, on the evidence of the second half performance, credit to Aberdeen for defending, but the game's all about winning. And Celtic have been so strong, so many efforts at goal, and you've got to say they deserved it. Here goes on for Roberts, and Scott Wright has... Come on for Aberdeen. Something almost there. Aberdeen need one big break here. O'Connor. Taylor looking to latch onto this. And it's just about threat through to Greg Gordon with Rooney trying to poke it in, and that might be that for Celtic. Yes, yeah, a really good ball, and Taylor wins it, just the first one, Svitchenko's nowhere near it. I think the last chance is gone, and it has been the most memorable season for Celtic and their supporters. Aberdeen gave this cup final so much, but it looks like it will be a familiar story for them, and for Brendan Rodgers and Celtic. on by Lustig. Bobby Madden blows his whistle. It's a green and whitewash. It's an astonishing achievement in Brendan Rodgers' first season in charge. He's in decent trouble winning company now with Jock Steen and Martin O'Neill. 50 years ago this week after Lisbon, the current team have just paid their ultimate respects. An unbeaten season of domestic bliss. The League Cup, the League title, and now the Scottish Cup. Brendan Rodgers and Celtic have won the lot. 47 domestic matches unbeaten beyond their wildest dreams. And Celtic have played with panache. Proper football all the way, the Celtic way. Annihilating Aberdeen in that second half. It was surely only a matter of time, even though it was rather late. In the week of the 50th anniversary of the Lisbon Lions, the most fitting of tributes. As easy as one, two, three, a treble for Celtic. is what it's like to be Celtic. And Kieran Tierney has made it back, having gone off injured. And he will be able to join the celebrations.
And that's good to see because he has had another outstanding season. A Celtic fan, <laughs> you can see what it means to Kieran Tierney.